Wow, what an exciting day. I'm so happy for you, Japan. I'm happy for you, Japan! You know,、um, I got the chance to talk to Rex yesterday, and he told me that he saw us on the live link, and he was so happy to see everyone. And in fact, one of our co workers at the office was telling us that every time someone walked across the stage, he was telling all about that person when he saw them, when he first met them, how successful they are in forever. Isn't that incredible? Rex knows you, Rex loves you, Rex is here with you. Give a big round of applause to Mr. Rex Mon. Tell him you love him. Come on. Come on, the more noise you make, the more you love Rex. Have you enjoyed being here in Dubai? What an amazing place, huh? I mean, I'm learning more and more stuff about Dubai. I'm really, really excited about it. You know, as we saw in the opening yesterday, the show, as I, as I mentioned yesterday, it showed the history of Dubai. And it's come a long, long ways from the times of fishing and pearl diving. And in less than 50 years, did you hear that? Less than 50 years, it's become the city that it is today. Isn't that amazing? Now, two generations ago, that's not very long ago, homes in Dubai didn't have any running water or electricity. Can you imagine that? This place with no running water or electricity just two generations ago. And now it has the world's largest tower. Is that amazing? The transformation this has made? Now, a lot of this change has been driven by the great leadership. Of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai. I'm amazed by this visionary person. And it was his father who was the original driving force behind the development of Dubai the infrastructure planning, the industrial port, the personal inspections he made twice daily. He had great commitment. He had great vision to recognize that the UAE would run out of oil in the near future. That was, that was what was happening here with the economy, and he saw that there was a need to replace that and to move on into the, into the next generation. So, Sheikh Mohammed clearly shares his father's vision and the importance of leadership about getting things done. Now, in the 11 years that Sheikh Mohammed has been ruler of Dubai, the Emirate has not only defied a global economic crisis, but it's emerged from it bigger, better, stronger, smarter, and happier. Isn't that amazing? I mean, they could be a completely different place without a big vision. Now, in his own words, the UAE is the embodiment of confronting difficulties, overcoming obstacles, and conquering the impossible. Do you think that's something we can learn? Can we take that and use that in our business? I know a lot of the people that are up here receiving these enormous checks. I know several years ago they thought that was impossible for them. And look what they've achieved now with that same vision, the same belief. This is what can happen to you with the opportunity of forever. Now, when you look around this city, you know Dubai always thinks big. It's bold, isn't it? It's always challenging perceptions and mediocrity. We don't like mediocrity, do we? We want to be. Great. We want to create greatness. Do you think Dubai set the goal of having just a nice tower when they conceived the idea of the Burj Khalifa 15 years ago? 
Do you think they just wanted just a nice tower? I mean, how many have been to the Burj Khalifa? What an amazing building. They wanted the biggest, the best, the most incredible tower that they could be proud of. Now let me tell you something. The Burj Khalifa holds almost 20 world records. Is that amazing? 20 world records, including the tallest structure ever built, and it has the world's highest restaurant. Anybody ate there before? Yeah? It's me too. It's an incredible place. Their vision was beyond what was imaginable, and we should be able to apply that same incredulous foresight to our own lives and our businesses. Now, you all know I have a really big vision for forever. Do you know that? Do you think we hit the top of forever? Are we at the top of the mountain right now? Heck no. We're just starting the climb. We're starting the journey. And you know that big vision is called 2X. 2X, have you heard of that this week? We've been talking about it a lot, right? What does it mean? It means we want to double ourselves. It means we want to double our results. It means we want to achieve the impossible for us. Now, what's interesting is on Thursday, we had a visit from His Highness, the, the crowning prince here of Dubai, the son of Sheikh Mohammed. And he told me about the vision they had recently for Dubai, and they called it 10X. And this was without me even saying about 2X. And he said, Greg, we have the vision of 10X. We're going to look 10 years from now what we should be and start doing now what we want to be in 10 years. And I told him, I only was at 2X. I think I better raise it to 10X. Do you think we should do 10 times what we are? I agree. I agree, and I believe we can do it. So how are we going to do it? Well, we got to get things right first. And we got to do some, a couple of things, follow a couple principles that will help us get to double and beyond and get to that 10 times the size. And that starts with growth, consistency, and compliance. Have you heard that this week? It's important to understand we need to apply those three things to our business. So let's start with growth. Now, have you ever heard someone say it's really hard to go out and recruit people? It's hard to find someone to talk to. It's hard to find someone to use the products. Has someone said they're not out there? Have you heard that before? There's others that talk of oversaturation. We've talked to everyone. Everyone knows about forever. Maybe, maybe even the person you look in the mirror has said that once or twice. Well, I'm going to prove something to you that we are way far from being oversaturated. Now, there's nearly seven and a half billion people that live in the world today. Isn't that amazing? And it's growing every year. And around 65% of those people, that's about nearly five billion, are of working age. They're the, they're the ones we're out looking for right now. Now, let's say 1% of those gets a vital five every month. Wouldn't that be awesome? Just 1% of five billion people using our vital five. Would that be good for our business? Absolutely. That's only one person in a hundred to buy something that gives them the nutrition that they need every day to feel energy and to go out and perform what they need to do to be successful. Now, would you believe that is over 4.1 million case credits per month? If we had five, just 1% of 5 billion using Vital 5, 4.1 million case credits. Who wants that in their business? <laughs> 
Now you may not realize that is over 10 times what we're producing right now in cells. 10 times the amount of cells. Not just doubling cells, but like they say here, 10x, 10 times the results. And we're only talking about 1% of the world's population. Are you starting to understand how much work we can do? How many people out there haven't heard of forever that are waiting for you to go and share this wonderful opportunity with them? So how are we going to individually take advantage of this massive potential and this growth that we're looking for? Well, we all need to do just a little bit more. And you know, I'm not here to say double your efforts, double your time that you spend in, because sometimes maybe that's hard to think about. Maybe you're like, I'm doing enough now, Greg, I can't give anymore. But what if I said, can you give 10% more? Can you put 10% more of your time into it? Can you put 10% more effort into what you're doing? Do you think you could do that? Is that, it, does that sound impossible to you? No, that sounds very easy, right? You know, if we just watch a little bit less TV, maybe we sleep just a little bit less, and we have the time to go out and do just 10% more. Now let's take a look at what that would do for your business. Because it doesn't sound like much, right? And maybe you think, I'm not gonna get that much results from just 10% more, but let's find out how that works. Now let's say you're doing 100 case credits right now per month in your group. If you do just 10% more, how much is that next month? You would do 110 case credits. And if you could do 10% more the following month, it's 121 case credits. And if you kept doing that for 12 months, do you realize that the 12th month you would be producing 300 case credits? That's over three times what you started with. You started at 100 and just 12 short months you tripled your results with just 10% more. Do you understand the compounding effect that that can have? Now that's incredible to me because it's not asking a lot of you. It's just making a commitment and believing in yourself and doing a little bit more. And it's gonna help us make life-changing income differences. Now it's easy to say that our increasing efforts by 10% will make a difference, and it will, but which areas can we most effectively put our effort into? We need to be actively engaged in income producing activities. Not just doing things to do, but to understand that's helping our business get the desired results. And that'll help us become more effective. Now remember, there's four areas to focus on. What do we call it? What do we call the four areas? Four core, right? Recruitment, retention, productivity, development. We're gonna talk over and over about this because this is the basics of our business. It's the foundation we need to learn in order to become successful. And when we look at these four areas, you need to ask yourself, which ones am I good at? And which ones am I not so good at? And which ones do I need to put a little more effort and get better in? Because the success in your forever business relies on a good balance of each of these areas. And it's always gonna change. You might be good at recruiting now, but not so good at retention. And if you put more effort into retention and it grows, guess what? Less effort in recruitment. So you're gonna have to someday go back and put more effort into recruitment. And it's always dynamic and changing and we always have to understand where do we need to be in order to balance out the four core. Now, we're, a we're achieving great growth by working a little harder, a little bit smarter, and if we focus on four core, we can improve our business, do just the 10%, and it's gonna help us grow. Now, 
in forever, we don't want to just grow short term and then have our cells fall down, do we? We want this to be consistent. We want it to grow forever. The business that you're building today, we want it to last for tomorrow. So the second area of focus is consistency. Doing the right things over and over again. It is so important to understand that we need to do the right things over and over again. And it doesn't sound too exciting, does it? But we have to learn the right habits. Those that are achieving the big checks are those that have learned the right habits. And they don't do it just once. They do it over and over every day. And that's when we start to see the growth and the success that we're looking for in our business. Consistent daily activity. Managing your teams, your customers in a supportive and consistent manner. Not just talking to them once, but doing the proper follow-up and going back and making sure we're answering the questions that they have and trying to upsell them into more product. Being consistent in, in your attitude and your mindset. That's so much easier said than done, isn't it? Every day we wake up and we make choices. Every day we can wake up and decide, oh, I'm tired, I don't wanna go out and talk to anyone. Or we can wake up with energy and say, I'm gonna go talk to everyone I see today because I know the value of forever and I know how it can change people's lives and if I do that, it changes my life. And again, as I said, having the right habits, knowing what we need to do, keeping to the basics always. This is a sponsoring business. We never stop sponsoring new people. Do you understand that? If you stop sponsoring people, will your business grow? No. So understand we got to be consistent in our sponsoring effort. No matter if we're an AS or we're a Diamond Centurion manager, we need to be out sponsoring and recruiting and bringing new people in. Now, the final area of focus is compliance. And compliance is knowing about the rules. And this might sound a little boring, you know? No, why do I need to know the rules? But I can tell you that to be consistent and to grow, we need to understand the company policies. And we need, to, we need to know them in detail. And I can't think of anyone who knows the company policies better than the EGLT, the ex executive GLT members. They know them backwards and forwards. You know, we have Rolf and Dominique. Where's Rolf and Dominique? We have Nat from the UK, we have John and Jane, and we have Gabby and Becky from South Africa. Those are EGLT. And I know I've talked to them and they ask me questions all the time. They t I think they try to trick me, you know, and ask me questions about company policies, but they haven't got me yet because I know company policies very well. And you should too. It's going to help you build your business and it's going to help you avoid taking shortcuts because Rex has designed this marketing plan to guide your personal growth, your experience and success for long term. There's a reason why the company's called forever. We want this business to last forever. And when we follow the rules and we understand the correct principles, there's no doubt the business will be your legacy. Now this structure is all in place for a reason. It's important to follow the rules. And it's also important to be compliant to your goals. How many have goals in your business? I hope all of you do. And it's important to be compliant to them, to follow through and make sure you do what you want to do. Understand your goals. 
Stick to the rules that you create for yourself. If you say you're going to go sponsor five people a week, make sure you go sponsor five people a week. We need to understand what, how we want to work, where we want to work, and what we want to work on. And those comes through setting goals. Know the rules and do the right thing. Not being compliant is like flying here to Dubai and getting a map of Abu Dhabi and trying to go around. It just doesn't work, does it? We get lost and we don't understand where we are. So it doesn't make sense. So we need to understand and have the right roadmap and understand where we're going and understand the right the knowledge and tools that we have available to help us. So we can take advantage of the huge potential we have that this global market offers us by focusing on growth, consistency, and compliance. But that's not just all of you who will be doing that. Forever is a company that's working hard in all of these areas to support you. We have great people. Do you love the staff of Forever? Do they help you tirelessly and endlessly to support you in your business? Don't you think the staff of Forever in the world deserves a big round of applause? We have some great employees who are dedicated to help you and spend endless hours and time supporting you. At the home office, we're working very hard to make sure we create the right tools, the right sales tools, the right IT tools that support your daily activities. We're trying to help you to network better and to find more people and to get that message out in a more efficient manner. We're providing great new products. We're providing you great new products. Do you like that? I hope you're excited about Forever Move and the Infinite program. It's going to revolutionize your business. It's definitely going to take it to the next level. And that's what we try to do is find the very best for you to represent so that your business will grow. We have high quality products out there to share with people. We're also working closely with the DSA, the Direct Selling Association, and other agencies to ensure that our policies and follow-up is compliant with local laws and regulations, because if we don't do the right thing, the business may not be here tomorrow for us, right? So it's important that we understand that, and I can tell you the company is very interested in making sure and committed that we're not going to slip up like some other company X's out there. We want to make sure we're building this to last forever for you. So here we are back to our map of the world. I am really excited of the potential we have in the future to grow. I can think of every single one of your countries and we're just starting. We're just scratching the surface. Even in the number one country, Japan, we're just scratching the surface. Japan, we can double sales, right? If Japan can double sales, that means UK can double sales. Is that right? And if UK can double sales, that means India can double sales. Do you see how it works? That means all of us can double our sales in our group. Remember that if only 1% of the adult population used a Vital 5, our business would be 10 times bigger than it is today. That's the potential we have, and that's why I'm super excited that we have this challenge in front of us, as well as a company to achieve double sales, 2x in the short future. I'm not just saying let's double sales and quit. I'm saying that's our first step. We can do much, much more. And that's exciting for you because that is a bright future for you to continue to have a successful business with forever. 
with a little more effort on all our parts, working a little smarter, knowing the rules and being consistent in our approach, we'll be able to double sales. Do you believe that? Can we double sales? Who's committed to doubling your sales? Now, one thing I know, committed people, people who take action, people who want to be successful, people who want to lead, don't sit. People who, people who aren't successful, sit. People who are successful, stand up and take action. People who want to be successful, stand up and take action. People who want to be successful, stand up and take action. I am Greg. I am the son of Rex. And I am forever! Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it again for Mr. Greg Moore.